We're very interested in how these animals produce their sounds because we're very interested in how these animals learn their sounds. And zebra finches sing, the males at least, they sing. And many of the processes that are involved in learning to sing are very similar to the processes involved for humans learning speech, uh, languages even. So we can acquire different languages and we can do this a whole life long. And these animals have a very fixed period of time when they can learn languages and their song basically. And it's only like 65 days. When they're older than 65 days, that window shuts. So it gives us huge amounts of opportunities to study all the processes in the brain, in their behavior, in their song development in this period. These birds also babble when they're babies. They actually have these babbling-like uh, songs. And then that crystallizes slowly more to, to the adult song. And that's exactly what we see in humans, where babies babble and they more and more go towards their language specific. Trying to understand this will help us greatly also in advancing our knowledge how the system in humans works and so how we can, for instance, um, provide better therapy for people with speech impediments and uh, also understand better the genetic defects some people have.